so we, through both entry and exit, we get this condition that's illustrated in figure 11.5, which is in 11.5 we see that in the long run, firms always supply not on a single curve, but at a single point. Okay? In the long run, with a perfectly competitive market, for a given firm, there's no longer even meaningfully a supply curve to a firm. There's just literally a supply point, which is every firm produces at exactly the point where marginal costs equal average costs. So in some sense, once again, for a given firm, okay, this is not the market, but for a given firm, there's not even meaningfully a supply curve anymore. For a given firm, in the long run, they only choose one production point, which is technologically given. So this is interesting. For a given firm, the market doesn't matter. Okay? For a given firm, a public competitive market, we don't know to know anything about demand. All we need to know is the firm's production function. That's all we need to know. We don't even know, need to know anything about costs. Okay, oh, yeah, we need to know about costs because we need to know, because that'll affect, we need to know costs. We need to know their cost function. All we need to know is their cost function. And then all we need to do is derive where marginal cost equals average cost, and we're done. Okay? This is the power of the perfectly competitive equilibrium. This is why economists love it so much. Because we don't need to go through all this. This is all short run stuff. In the long run, it's easy. You just say, give me a cost function, I'll tell you what the firm will produce. And I'll tell you what the price is. The firm will produce where marginal cost equals average cost, and the price will be where marginal cost equals average cost. I can tell you the P and the Q in equilibrium just if you give me a cost function. And that's the beauty of the long run perfectly competitive equilibrium. That's why it's so attractive to economists for modeling purposes and other things. It's incredibly easy to work with. Because all you need is a cost function, and you're done. Okay? And the, the key lesson is what is true at the point where marginal cost equals average costs? Okay? Well, look at our graph. That is the point of cost minimization. Note that that is the very minimum point of the long run average cost curve. So where price equals where marginal cost equals average cost is the point of cost minimization. So what we're saying further, this is even more powerful. What we're saying is in the long run perfectly competitive equilibrium, firms will by definition minimize their costs. They will produce as efficiently as possible. Not because God told them to, but because through the power of the market. Because what happens if you start a firm and you aren't cost minimizing, what happens? What happens is, in the short run, you might make money if you aren't cost minimizing. But in the long run, you'll get driven out of business. Because if there's someone else who can produce more cheaply than you, they'll, charge a lower, they'll be able to charge a lower price and drive you out of business. Your price will end up above the long run equilibrium price if you're not cost minimizing. So any firm that is not cost minimizing will get driven out of business. And the equilibrium will be a market where all firms are producing at the cost minimizing level. And that's why we get the high tech figure 11.6, okay? which is that the long run market supply curve is perfectly elastic. Okay? Now this comes all the way back to what I talked about at the beginning of the last lecture. Remember I said what determines perfect competition? Two things. The demand curve to the firm was perfectly elastic. And the, mark, and the supply curve to the market is perfectly elastic. Okay? That, and we talked last time about why the demand curve to the firm is perfectly elastic, because with lots of firms, any given firm has perfectly elastic demand. Now we've just derived why market supply curve is perfectly, is perfectly elastic. It's perfectly elastic at the cost minimizing point. If the price ever rises above that cost minimizing point, what happens? What happens if the price, if there's, if, if, if the price should suddenly rise above it? What happens? Firms enter and drive the price back down. If the price ever drops below that cost minimizing point, firms exit and the price goes back up. So through the power of firm entry and exit, in the long run, you end up with a horizontal or perfectly elastic supply curve. And that's perfect competition.